What are you doing? I'm crying. <laughs> music, music. It is good to be back on the Mark Twain. Hey, what's up, park hoppers? Hello, everybody, and welcome back. So we're back at Disneyland, as you can see. Yes. And today is May the 4th. Yay, May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you guys. So <laughs> we're gonna, you know, do some Disneyland things, focus on some Star Wars things, yes. and still show the whole park. And uh, just see what we can get into today. We're gonna meet up with some friends. Of course. Build a lightsaber. Build a lightsaber. That's yes. Be fun. Uh, and so let's see what we can get into today, guys. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. So something we maybe didn't cover enough in the last video is everything is mobile ordered. <laughs> so there's pretty much no walk-ups. So even if you're gonna get like Gibson Girl ice cream, it's gonna be mobile order. It's cool though because they have the tables out here now, so you can't sit inside. So we've always needed some outdoor tables for sure. Casper is taking care of all the cleaning for us. You guys, how cute is this cupcake? It is the Magic Is Here cupcake. There is like edible glitter on there. There's stars. There's all these sprinkles. And of course you have to have chocolate chip ears. So I think these buttons are probably just white chocolate. Mmm. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this. Let's see what flavor, it's chocolate cake. So there it is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut myself. A little piece over here. Oh, that icing is like hard. Like it, it was. It's been refrigerated. It's nice and cold. So, should have had you do the review since all these sprinkles are on it. Mmm, <laughs> that is really good. Like. You could tell it's refrigerated, but it still tastes like the cake itself is really moist. Very flavorful. And these these sprinkles don't taste very waxy, so I'm very happy with that. Mm -hmm. It is a little on the pricey side. I think it's $6.99. But I mean, it's a Disney breakfast, right? <laughs> Alright, so if you like cupcakes, especially specialty cupcakes, definitely make sure you get this little guy. It's found at Jolly Holiday. All right, Crystal took a bite of this top buttercream or frosting that they put and she really liked it. So she said, I have to try it on camera. So uh, let's take a bite. Oh, it is good. It's like, um, oh, somebody just dropped all their coffee. Um, sorry, distracted. <laughs> it is like a, is it a cheesecake? Oh, yes. I feel like it's cheesecake. I think it is. I bet you if we read the uh, what the cupcake is, it'll say that. But I'm pretty sure it's cheesecake. Or like some kind of cheese. Dude, cream that cheese. is so good. Yeah, it's like a cream cheese. Yeah. That is so good. Wow. This is probably... I don't even like chocolate cupcakes. This is probably the best cupcake I've had at Disneyland in at least a year. No, I'm just kidding, but no. <laughs> it's probably the best cupcake I've had here since I can remember. Like, we don't normally get them either, so maybe that's why. Um, but normally Disneyland's cupcakes are kind of eh. It's Disney World that's kind of known for their cupcakes, you know? Uh, but hopefully this means they're gonna step up their cupcake game this year. All right, guys. We had to get a corn dog, something to eat. Um, we've reviewed these before. You know we're gonna like it. But what they had that we haven't had before, at least not that I can remember, is bacon infused or bacon flavored ketchup. So was this extra, Chris? It was, I believe, $1.99 extra. It just smells like ketchup, but I mean, you can tell it's different. So let's take a, uh, let's take a bite. I mean, the corn dog's good like always. I don't, oh, there is a bacon flavor. Kind of comes after. I'll try it by, oh, there's pieces of bacon in here. I can't see with my glasses, but I can feel them. So there's actual, let's see if I can scoop one out. Look at that. It's an actual piece of bacon in the ketchup. That looks delicious. So I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna share some with Crystal and uh, 
yeah, you should probably get this. This is awesome. Hi. Let's go to Tomorrowland. All right, sounds like a plan. Yeah. We didn't make it over there last time. We didn't. <laughs> Felt I weird, go to huh? Tomorrowland. All right, guys, if you remember, you remember what it was like before in here? Huh. You remember what it used to be like in this area? Oh, yeah, a stroller's galore. Think of that empty, dude. I don't even remember the last time I saw this empty. Right? More than a decade for sure. Oh, definitely. Gonna head into Star Trader. Crystal looking for a Stormtrooper mask. They have the new Star Trek. Find your mask? I did. I can match you. Nice. I can be the Stormtrooper to your Darth Vader. Nice. <laughs> also, match your awesome outfit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like the Build Your Own Droid Station's open. Oh, it is. I thought it would be closed, but they just have the social distancing markers. That's cool. Not a whole lot open here in uh, Tomorrowland. We got Space Mountain open. 20 minute wait. You have Star Traders, which we just came out of open. Yes. And you have Star Tours open. And that was, I think, a 20 minute wait as well. And then Alien Pizza Planet, the restaurant is closed. Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters is closed. Yes. Star Wars Launch Bay is closed. Yes. The submarines are closed. Uh, Astro Orbiters are open. Astro Orbiters are open. Autopia is open. Autopia is open. But it does feel like about half the land is not open. Yeah. So. A good half of it. Yeah. They do have the Galactic Grill that's open so you could eat here. Yep. And the popcorn stand. And you know, most importantly, the popcorn stand is open. Not even around the corner from Autopia yet. You can already smell Autopia. <laughs> the fume. <laughs> Did not miss that smell as much as I missed Pirates. Oh yeah. <laughs> So the wait for the train did say it was going to be about 20 minutes and as you can tell there's pretty much no line but there are a very limited amount of seats on the trains so you know just be patient uh it looks like for the train that's sitting forward they're skipping every two rows or so um and they're not sitting in the very back because it doesn't skip two rows so you know we're gonna wait for the next train and hopefully it's the sideways sitting one anyways to get a better view so we're gonna hang out and see how long it actually takes much for being here uh thank you for keeping the uh, physical distancing. Thank you for standing on each one of your castles. Unfortunately, no food or drinks are allowed to be eaten in the queue or on the attraction. And down the track, something, something, smokestack. <laughs> I don't know the words, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nice and empty these trains out, guys. So good. Alright, I just want to be able to show how this works. So it's like one person, or one group, two group, and three group. And that is a full train. So even if this party here was a smaller party, it would still be a full train. Because they got to stay the six feet. So um, you can see here there's like there's tape markings to sit between so uh we're gonna wait for the next train all right guys so like we said only one person only one person got on the train before us so uh we're at tomorrowland station and honestly this is probably the worst station to try to get on the train even before like covid restrictions because a lot of people are riding it to the front so i would say that if you can get on at Main Street or New Orleans, you're probably going to get on quicker uh, because there's a lot of people getting off the train for attractions over there. Uh, you know, over here in Tomorrowland, I mean, there are attractions open, but they're kind of closer to Main Street anyways. So um, if you can get on at Main Street or New Orleans Square, you're probably going to get on faster uh, depending on the crowds over there. So just something to think about when you're waiting for the train. Bring your patience. It's not the cast member's fault. That it takes forever to get on it's just because of the covid restrictions and the spacing restrictions they are very limited about three groups per car all right chris what do you think third time's a charm hopefully i really hope so i'm just ready to get on already Same. Come on, 
Three tries to get on? Yeah, third time's the charm. Third time was the charm. So uh, we're going to ride this to New Orleans Station and pop off for our lunch reservations. Oh, also, when you're on the train, mask has to stay on. No eating or drinking. So one of our favorite things used to be to drink some hot chocolate in the evening or, you know, relax and have a nice drink, but not now. So mask stays on. it is up here in the entrance. It's crazy. Crazy, dude. So crazy. They did say that today the train will run until 2.30. Uh, when we were here on opening day, it only ran until 1.30, even though it was posted to run to 2.30. So um, he said he wasn't sure how the scheduling was going to work. So if you're coming and you want to ride the train, uh, one, I would just do it first, honestly. Uh, but if you're not going to do it first, then just make sure you ask uh, what time they're going to close the train today because it may uh, move. It seems like it's in flux. <laughs> If you'll be leaving us here, please remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. Then watch your show. Welcome to New Orleans Club. Please remain seated until the train comes to a full and complete stop. This is New Orleans Square Station. Thank you, Your attention. Hi. Club 33, y'all. Woo, one day. This is nice. Not nice. This is very nice guy. Well, not if, anybody, if anybody comes and they see Arturo or his brother that has the same name badge on and looks exactly like him, tell him hi. And tell him he's nice. He's the nice one. He looks very nice as well. <laughs> he told us that they added a waterfall. Waterfall, a whirlpool, a flaming ring of awesomeness. Fire, yeah. So we're gonna show you guys all that, and that way you're prepared for you guys. Come. <laughs> Bless you, cause you're tight. Yeah. That's the list calling out the death block so we can avoid running the river. Love all the tables right here.
What are you doing? I'm crying. Music, music, music. It is good to be back on the Mark Twain. I'm surprised the train didn't make you cry. Columbia not running right now. Just chilling here, parked. Part of mansion in the distance. The guy over there waving his churro at us. Comes. Oh, we're not gonna see it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the canoe ride is closed right now. Yeah. How do you feel about the canoe rides? I'm good with them being closed forever. <laughs> now, actually, you know what? I like seeing them. I just don't want to. I have no interest in riding them. <laughs> The water is turned down. It's not flowing as fast as usual. Yeah, to have it turned down low. We just pulled in from uh, our trip around the rivers of America. Uh, felt good to be back on the boat. Uh, kind of weird though, some of the waterfalls either weren't on or were on very low. Trying to conserve water, I guess. Uh, maybe the waterfalls are also only open at 25%, I don't know. Uh, but it was still really nice to ride around, super relaxing. All right guys, so it's about 7.30, park's been closed for 30 minutes. We had some Dole Whip, uh, but we got to talking to some people that we met here and uh, we forgot to uh, share our Dole Whip with you guys. So uh, we owe you a Dole Whip next trip, so sorry about that, but it was delicious. Crystal got a Dole Whip float, insert picture here, maybe here, someplace, I don't know. Uh, and I got the raspberry Dole Whip swirl, it was really good. Uh, but now we're just chilling. Um, waiting for it to get a little dark, waiting for security to maybe kick us out, and we'll see what happens. Since it is Star Wars Day, we got a few, you can see a lightsaber over there. We got a couple sabers over here behind Adam. Look what we bought! Hi! Oh, look how cute that is! He's so cute! That is pretty cute. <laughs> so we're just kind of hanging out. There were more up here earlier, I should have probably pulled the camera out. We got somebody, uh, got a Darth Vader chick coming over here so pretty cool with a red saber we got our new friends over here waiting to, to take some some pics with their sabers once it's a little darker so yeah we're just uh we're just hanging out that's awkward that was an awkward way to hold it so yeah we're just hanging out waiting so we'll see hey what's up park uppers hey everybody that's it we're done what a day it was fun it's like I feel like we did everything and we did nothing. Right. Uh, we rode the train. We and did we, everything we didn't do on Friday. I think that's more like what we did. Yeah. I told them we got Dole Whips and we ate them without them. Oh. So we owe them a Dole Whip. Yeah. I'm sorry, uh, guys. Yeah, happy. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Ryan. Uh, so you know, I hope you guys enjoyed our May the Fourth. You know, yes, we had a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We to so build many... that lightsaber. Yes. Brought out one. Um, <laughs> but we had a blast. You know, just being here. Even when we're not riding rides, just sitting on Main Street, you guys, sitting I in mean, front of the castle. I mean, we have so many friends here. Like, just catching up with them is yeah. the best part. It really is. Yeah. So, we will be back soon. Yes. Uh, but until then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace. <laughs>